It's been a while since we've had a brand new deck. We've just been improving our older ones, which is always fun to do. But now we have a brand new deck. And this is one of those decks. You guessed it. I made it by accident. I looked up the deck and it seems pretty fun. I think it's really fun. It's really cool what they could do with XZ monsters. I just need some better ones, honestly. But it's pretty cool what they could do. It's really cool what they can do. But I have to admit, it has come to my attention that this is a pure turn 2 deck. I really tried. I really tried making this a turn 1 deck. And it just doesn't work. Turn 2, possibly OTK as well because we have Numeron Dragon and stuff. Which we pulled. I didn't have to make it. So that, we got lucky there. But this whole deck, I didn't, I didn't make none. I'll tell you the cards I made right now. I made one Convocation. I made one. I had two already. From just random bullshit. I had two already. I don't know how. I'm not Southern, so I'm, I don't know what. Is that even a Southern accent? All right, let me stop. I uh, made two Celestial Observatories, and I made Sapphira. But I think Sapphira is also good in another deck. Wink, wink. You'll see in the future. You'll see in the future. We got pre-preparation for Sapphira. Lightning Storm. Yeah, because we're going turn two. Let me tell you what I made. I did not make... Did I make Heretic Seal now I don't remember. Dang it, I don't remember. This deck is actually fairly budget. Like the key like cards in the main deck, none of them are super rares. Well, except you know the three convocations. So if you get lucky and pull one or two, like that's very budget, very budget. Uh, I think I made creation. I think I made creation. After looking up the deck, I think I made creation. I think I made two creations. I think it's better at one here. Cause we. Like I said, we're going pure turn two. Pure turn two, baby. So one creation is okay in that since we don't have too many heretics. Uh, heretics. Heretic. Heretic. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm new to the deck. Okay, don't be mad at me. So yeah, let's just go through it. We need some normal monsters. If you're not familiar with the deck, once they get tributed, they bring out a normal monster. And that could lead into some crazy XZ plays, XYZ plays. And we're making a pure turn two, so if you see some kaijus in here, you know why. So we got Watt Tail Dragon level six normal to summon. Blue Eyes White Dragon, an iconic level eight that we need. Heretic Seal is their main normal, so why not have it? I added Astral Karibo. No other uh no other heretic deck has Astral Karibo that I looked into, because you know I gotta gotta look into the decks. So for Astral Karibo, I think it's a good addition. If and I didn't make it, by the way. I pulled an Astro Karibo, and I think he works here. Astro Karibo copies a number XZ, so we could copy Numeron Dragon. Well, not Numeron Dragon, but copy Draglubion. Copy a level 6. Copy a level 8. Copy a level 10. So, well, they have to be a number. Remember, they have to be a number. Not just any XZ. They have to be a number XZ to copy. And then that's a free special summon level 8 monster, so why wouldn't I do that, you know? Well, or whatever level we need, really. You just put that number in here and then boom Astro Karibo bang I added catapult turtle got some good ideas from some videos to add catapult turtle it's usually a Gaia but a level 5 dragon which we have a couple so catapult turtle helps three Tefnuits because we go second and it's a special summon when they have a monster three dragons of soup it's pretty good it, it could pop a card if we tribute Three kaijus, you already know. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I had to make it. I had to make Darkness Metal. Yep. Darkness Metal's too good in this deck to not make, so I had to make it. And if you don't have Darkness Metal Dragon and you want to run this deck, I hate to tell you, but you might have to make it. Sorry. I already told you about Sapphira. Two Sapphiras, two pre preparations, and two Hymn of Lights. That's the little Sapphira deck engine. Regeki, Harpy. We're going turn two, so you know we need those. Monster Reborn. And then into the void, you mo more times than not, you're not gonna have any cards in your hand anyway. So into the void is just, hey, if I'm not gonna have any cards in my hand anyway, might as well draw. <laughs> and that's why it's here. Three convocations, it's a search. Yeah, pretty good. Celestial Observatory, we have a couple level sixes in here, so to draw two, to put a level six in the deck, it's pretty decent. Lightning Storm, because we're going second. I already told you about creation. It summons a different XZ monster. 
That's what I'm saying. If you don't get the XZ out, why have too many in your deck? So maybe two to three. Two, two could work. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe two. I barely see this card enough, so maybe two would work. And we got the one Piercing of the Darkness. We have some normal monsters in there. We summon them, so Piercing of the Darkness is always good. And then Infinite Impermanence, because why not? Now the extra deck. Add a Time Thief for newer. You don't need. Numeron Dragon, I would say you probably do, do need for the OTK potential. King Dragon of Atom. It's pretty good. It's their... Not, not really their boss. Who's their boss monster? I guess it had to be Sun Dragon or Sky Dragon. Have to be one of those. I've never even really summoned Sun Dragon, because at least if you can't finish them off, Sky Dragon. Uh, Sun Dragon could be good for the OTK stuff, though, right? Tad, you want me to trivia any no more monsters from your hand or if you destroy that many no more? Yeah, it could really go into that OTK, but it's level 8, and you know what you want to do with level 8 OTK. Maybe I sh Maybe if they're in defense. Use this to pop, and if you have enough monsters on, eh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Number 72, it's a level 6 number, so I added it to, you know, be a level 6. We got Gaia Dragon. Yeah, we added, we implemented a Gaia card. I didn't even know this card existed. Which is crazy, because I made a Gaia deck. But it wouldn't be too good in that Gaia deck anyway. Gaia Dragon. It's pretty cool too. Thunder Dragon. The Thunder Charger. Okay, let me stop looking at that. That's pretty cool though. I'm glad I saw the idea to because you make Adam. Adam can't even attack that turn, then boom, you turn him into Gaia Dragon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Heretic Sun Dragon at one. Hell, you probably don't even need this card. So look, save you some material. This dragon you don't need, I just added it because whatever. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. Dragaluvion, you do need for Numeron Dragon. Sky Dragon Overlord, I think he's good at one. And uh, the, I made a mistake. One of the cards over here says they copy a level of any normal monster. And my dumbass thought he could copy Darkness Metal Dragon, which is not a normal monster. So I made Cypher X Dragon two level tens. But, 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 there is a level eight Cypher Dragon that it can copy, well, it can't copy, but if I copy a blue eyes level, I could turn into that and then turn into this because, you know, it overlays. So it could still be useful. It won't be a complete waste of material, but I just have to make, you know, the level eight one. And then Zeus because it's an XZ deck and Zeus is really good. And then it's their card. This is their card. Heretic Seal. Maybe when I was pulling for this card, they gave me some of their cards, and I'm like, damn, I never really looked into it. So I looked into it, and bam, I'm wasting a lot of time. All right, <laughs> just get into the replay. There's two of them, too. Oh my gosh, if you make it all the way to the end, I really appreciate you. All right, go, go, go. Time to use our new Heretic. Heretic deck. It is mainly a turn two deck, so I made it purely a turn two deck. I'm gonna start making some more turn one decks, right? Because my last couple of videos was what? Neos, Shadows, which I guess is good turn one. All right, either way, Lightning Stone. Destroy all those traps. Now use Into the Void. So now we have to use our whole hand. Heme of Light. To get rid of two level fives. To make Sapphira. Sapphira. And since I tributed two monsters, those two monsters will activate their effects when they get tributed. That's why we added Sapphire right here. What? Dra what tail dragon? And blue eyes! That's pretty good. And now, I will XZ these two into King of Atom. Use his effect to give me Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon to resummon Estef. Eset, I mean. And now we will exe these two into Heretic Sky Dragon. And now exe him into Gaia, the Thunder Charger. Oh man. Well, you probably could have guessed we would have attacked with Gaia, did some piercing, and then probably link into Zeus probably because we attacked. Uh, okay, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good, right? That was like a little showcase of bringing out the, the monsters. Let's get to the next one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are going second again. 
Let's see what we got. Allure of Darkness. I don't ever remember who I go against. Despia. Okay. I barely remember ha what happens in these battles. I just know we win them because why would I showcase a loss? Unless we go crazy but still lose. Maybe. Okay, Despia. Do your Despia stuff. We have a... We have a... Uh, why did I forget? Kaiju. We have a Kaiju for just in case. Fusion into the one that yep, burns. Always. And then this one comes back, or, yeah. Wow, okay. Nice little field. Nice little field you got there. You had, D you had a, D oh my god, I can't wait. I cannot wait for the band. DPE is, oh my, I can't wait to not see him anymore. All right, so I think we kind of DPE because he seems like the problem. Go ahead, you could burn me right there. Sorry, just fixing the mic if that bothers. I will send Sephira away to draw to, that's why I added this card. We have a lot of level 6s, a good amount of level 6s, so we can draw too. So we'll kaiju and use pre preparation. I think we don't care about his max C. We always get max seed. Heretic seal of convocation. Yep. I knew that was the right name. I will summon Tefnuit and use Astral Karibu to copy a level 6 number. To synchro into the level 6 number. Shogi Rook. And now that was fusion. Fusion. <laughs> Ritual. Into Sapphira, Queen of Dragons. We don't care about the Maxi. We don't care about the Maxi. We don't care about the Maxi. So now we will tribute. He will use infinite impermanence on Sapphira? Sapphira has a decent effect, but those are for the end. At the end. You should have saved that imperm. It might have saved your life. Because now we will summon blue eyes and the heretic seal. To s summon Jaglubion. Alright, we're, we're, we're almost dead. We're taking a lot of burn damage, but we should be okay. Only a couple more effects needed. Number where, what? Number 100 Numeron Dragon. 15,000 DAMAGE! It doesn't matter how many cards you draw If I end the game In that one turn Sounds pretty good I pulled Numeron Dragon And I hate Numerons Well, the other Numerons But sheesh I mean, it's also an OTK But it's kind of needed in this deck To make this deck an OTK deck, you know? But, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, please let me know. And please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.